sexual magic. This is alchemy of the spirit and soul. Every organ and system that makes the human body function is attached to the sexual hormones of a person. Your sexual energy is what's in charge of and creates and is, and is what feeds basically the whole body to work, okay? You see this triangle and you see the star David. Now, this blue triangle upside down is the water element, okay? Element of water is depicted as an upside down blue triangle. Fire is a right side up red triangle, okay? This is the gender principle of Hermeticism. Man, woman, okay? Fire, water. What does fire do? What does water do? Fire does something, right? That's what makes fire have masculine qualities. Same thing as water. Well, fire pushes, it moves in an out and up motion. Whereas water uh, pulls down and in, and it, and it gravitates. Levity and gravity, right? Rising, falling. There's two particular alchemical times in nature. One is dusk and dawn, that happens every day. Spring and fall. Daytime and nighttime cannot be together. They are separate, two different things, just like summertime and winter, hot and cold, okay? However, when you put these two forces together, they cancel each other out and they become one. This is called the void. Dusk and dawn by the Chinese the Eastern Taoist uh, philosophies say and talk about dusk and dawn as the void. They say that it's not day and it's not night. They do not have a word dusk and dawn because day and night are easily definable. You cannot define dusk and dawn. So it's a sexual gate that opens up. It's transformation, daytime into night. That space in between is called a void. Your joints, they call these gateways. They don't call Chinese, uh, the traditional Chinese medicine calls your joints gateways, not joints. The physical plane is connected to the spiritual, which is where the angels reside. And they take the, they do the work and communicate what God commands them to do. Because God sits on his throne in heaven. He tells the angels what to do. And they're the ones that do it. They reside in the spiritual plane. Physical plane is the water and earth element. Air and fire is what resides in the spiritual plane. Human beings have all four elements. That's what makes us have flesh bodies. Angels have spirit and air. They're made up of those two elements. They don't have flesh bodies. Okay, That's why we can't see them. Springtime and fall have different qualities too because these are different transformational periods so spring bring, brings about life whereas fall brings about death right but it's the same period it's the same void just like sunrise brings about the day and then sunset brings about the night okay this symbol is also symbolic of Saturn the basic astrology Aries is is uh, ruled by the planet Mars in astrology which is when the spring energy, that masculine martial warrior type of energy, merges with the feminine to create, you know, life. That there's a connection between Mars and Saturn because the planet Mars is exalted in Capricorn where Saturn rules that sign. So as you see here, the merging of these two energies in Aries feminine and the masculine, right, creates life. The opposite would be fall, which is the seventh sign Libra, the scales of justice, right? This is the, se the separation of the two, okay? So there's two different types. When we're born into this tomb, which is the curse of the flesh, it is a curse. Your spiritual body is not born yet. You are given a seed when you are here. All right, that seed is your spiritual body.
spirit to seek God and connect to him. Fire, that element. Your soul, your emotions, is the water in which your soul feeds the spiritual body. Okay? Because your emotions feed your willpower. Willpower is a spirit. So, that's why people need to be born again. Because the spirit is dead. When you come here, you're dead. That's what the curse is. Don't eat from that tree, or you will surely die. So this is redeeming, meaning you don't have a spiritual body yet. When you have sex physically to procreate, you are killing yourself. Because this is how life works. It works from a balance between a masculine and feminine and not joining them together. You're not smashing them. No intercourse, okay? This is what brings death. The womb. The womb is a tomb. Death. Uh, transformation here. There is the non-penetrative sexual energy, and then there's a sexual energy that comes from penetration, meaning the smashing of protons together. This is the sexual transmutation. You take sexual energy and put it into creating something instead of just giving into your desires of the flesh and having sex. That's the difference between these two, okay? Now what I mean by that is sexual energy is what is feeds your creativity, the ability to make music, art, okay? To build something, to get motivated, like Rocky, you know? The Eye of the Tiger, rising up, okay? Earth's magnetic field, has a, no, has a North Pole and a South Pole. The South Pole is the element of fire pushing up and out, while the North Pole is the uh, feminine negative pulling down and in. Okay, And in between this spot here, it's a spiritual principle and truth on how you, your soul, is connected to God. Because your heart in the center operates the same exact way as a gravitational field. It's like the breath, out and in. Your heart has a soul. That's where your feelings come from. Your heart knows the truth. Your mind does not know the truth, but your heart does, okay? Your heart is where your soul is. Center of your brain, your pineal gland, that is where your physical body is connected to your spiritual body. Your heart is the connection to God. That's why Jesus, you see him in these pictures, he points to his heart and he points to above, right? This is where your humility comes from. This is where your pride and your ego comes from. That's your personality. That's not you. That is, that you cannot know God or the divine or any hidden spiritual truths if you do not have this open. Dusk and dawn. These particular time periods is just like how a revolving door works on a building that you know keeps moving and lets people go in they just jump in all right well remember the story in the bible is uh, uh, sigil or seagull of solomon he had the ability to control demons because sacred geometry is the language of angels all right these time periods open up a door this particular opening is what gives life this particular opening is what creates death, okay? Because when you have physical sex, you're feeding the flesh to, and, and it's pleasure. So you're giving in to the flesh. And the flesh is a curse because the flesh will die. Flesh is not eternal. You're, you are made to be eternal, all right? So... What happens in the middle, this point here I drew, is when these two begin to merge together, it's as if it looks like the hour, an hourglass, doesn't it? Right? When that happens, the hourglass begins to fill with the sands of time. Okay? Because the hourglass is a tool identifying time and who controls time. The machine, that's Saturn. Saturn is Satan, the Grim Reaper. Father Time, Kronos, okay? This eye that opens up in the center is when a soul gets 
manifested through sex, right? That's how you got here. Parents had sex, and all of a sudden, you opened your eyes, you came out, now there's another conscious being here. Well, this I means a few different things. It means another entity coming through and opening um, the hydron collider, okay? That's what the hydron collider, the particle accelerator in Switzerland is doing. All right, CERN. CERN smashes hy hydrogen uh, atoms together. Hydrogen is composed of two different atoms, electron and a proton. Electron is negative, that's feminine. Proton is positive, that's masculine. So they separate these two, and then they smash them together. What are they doing? They're just smashing the feminine and masculine forces together. All right? And so what is that doing? Well, it's opening a gate. It's opening doors. All right? That's all it's doing. It's just creating little voids, little black holes. That's what antimatter is. For all those of you science nuts out there. Hydron Collider spins particles hydrogen atoms. However, it spins the protons and the electrons in the opposite way in which they naturally spin. So it's like taking a masculine energy and making it feminine, and taking a feminine energy and making it masculine. A right spin, righty tidy, that's a masculine spin. Lefty loosey, that's a feminine. Okay, And they're twisting them and making them go in opposite directions in which they're naturally going. So what is that doing? It's creating a magnetic um, uh, void. That's sexual magic. That's what it is.